Now it's Gilnick it with the corner, she whips it in, right foot, and it's dangerous, and it's a goal! Well, it looked like it was Carpenter, but on the end of the corner. Ooh, yeah, they've turned this deficit from 1 0 down into a 2 1 lead here to the Matildas, and it's Carpenter. What a moment it is for Ellie Carpenter. Sweet 16, and she has her first goal for the Matildas of Australia. Gilnet with a corner. Well, there was dip, there was spin, and there was a lot of curve on the corner. Substitution player in number 16. She got her head onto it, Carpenter. Late here in this match in the 83rd. Forward now for Portland. Heath in the box. Decides to cross it. The extra touch. A goal for Portland. Ellie Carpenter becomes the youngest player to score in NWSL history. The 18-year-old from Australia. Another look at that. A huge goal for Portland, a much needed one, and for Carpenter, a history-making finish. And this is just a great goal by the Portland Thorns, taking advantage of that space out wide that's left open by Dadasco, who is pushed forward. They find open Tobin Heath, who plays a great through ball, and especially in this rain. So of the touchline, the net's open for Ellie Carpenter! That will be met with some controversy, Ellie Carpenter. Carpenter can make the running behind, especially when Simon can drop it on a dime like that. Emsley, little one-two, Carpenter opening up an angle here. Still Ellie Carpenter, oh what a goal from Melbourne City! On track for the Premier's place, keen to lift that silverware tonight. 2-0 up already, and Ellie Carpenter has scored a special goal, flashing one into the side. As Carpenter cuts inside, Van Egmont makes the run, Carpenter was looking for it, now she has a tap in, and she does have two. Ellie Carpenter is thinking about a hat-trick tonight, the way she's going, and they'll surely be lifting that Premier's plate in half an hour's time. Melbourne City, too good here tonight for Western Sydney. Majeria present. Carpenter, la frappe, et le but Deli Carpenter, à quelques minutes de la pause, l'internationale australienne qui s'offre son premier but sous les couleurs de...